The Global Users and Copernicus Climate Change Service made showcases that serve as inspirational examples on using global climate data. Here is heat waves causing health stress in Australia. I'm Dr. Aurel Moiser from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology. I'm working in this project with the health branch of the Queensland State Health Department. We really need climate change information to assess heat wave characteristics such as heat wave severity and duration under future climate conditions. This will support strategic planning processes and may lead to better adaptation to future changes in heat wave characteristics. We used the C3S Global Impact Service to assess and communicate the historical and future heat wave behaviour under two different emission scenarios, medium and high. Dr. Peter Aitken from Queensland Health said, this service is very useful for our long-term strategic thinking around future health needs as they are related to heat waves. We use daily maximum observations and climate models to calculate the excess heat factor, which is the current Bureau of Meteorology operational heat wave metric for future scenarios. The results showed that future heat wave severity is strongly increasing. The strongest increases are along the East Coast and Southern Australia. Heat waves are projected to occur more often in the off seasons, that is spring and autumn, especially in tropical Australia. State health services need to prepare their responses to heat waves, not just in summer in the future. Queensland Health can now incorporate these findings into their long-term strategic plans on heat wave response. Easy access to this information via the 3CS allows for our local stakeholder to continue to explore future heat wave characteristics and use this information at any time. For more information, please visit the webpage where you can be inspired by other showcases, explore and download climate impact indicators and seasonal forecasts, and learn how to use and interpret the data. Thank you for watching.